Today's video is on integration using residues. In today's video, we are going to solve the problem using residue theorem. So, the problems related to the residue theorem are the most, most important questions. Please don't miss this video until the end and you will be benefited. See here, first of all, we have to evaluate integral 4 minus 3z by z into z minus 1 into z minus 2 into dz where c is the circle. Mod z is equal to 3 by 2 using residue theorem. First of all, we have to see. So, what is given? So, integral is given as integral 4 minus 3z by. This is z into, this is z minus 1 into, this is z minus 2 into dz. So, this is the function value. The function value is nothing but 4 minus 3z by z into z minus 1 into z minus 2. As usual, in order to find the poles, we have to equate the denominator to 0. See here, the denominator is nothing but z into z minus 1 into this is z minus 2 is equal to 0. So, here z is equal to 0. And next one, if I equate z minus 1 to 0 and next z minus 2 to 0, so here the pole values will be clearly z is equal to 0 here, z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 here. So we got three poles. So the three poles are z is equal to 1, 0 and next z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2. And clearly here what is the circle given? The circle is given as mod z is equal to 3 by 2. So here mod z value is equal to 3 by 2. So this is the circle. So this can be written as mod z minus 0 is equal to 3 by 2. See here, so this is the circle with center 0 and radius 1.5. So if I cancel this one, so this will be 1.5. The radius value is 1.5. So the center value here is 0. And clearly, and let me explain you how many poles are inside or on the given circle. See, first of all, we have to check like this. So here is a diagram for you. Clearly, so this is mod z is equal to 3 by 2. So mod z means z minus 0 is equal to, see here, this is 1.5. So here is a graph. So this is x-axis and this is y-axis, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here also minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Down also the negative values, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. And here also 1, 2, 3, 4. So here... Here, z minus 0, the center value is 0. From the center, we have to take 1.5 radius. So, after taking 1.5 radius and after drawing a circle, and you observe how many are within the circle and how many are outside the circle. So, here 0 is within the circle and 1 is also within the circle. So, among these three poles, 0 is within the circle and 1 is within the circle and 2 is outside the circle. So, according to the residue theorem, so we have to find the residues which are within, within the circle, within the given region. So, we have to find the residue values of uh, 0 as well as 1 and we have to add up all the values. See, let's get started. Now, we have to find the residue values. Now, the residue of f of z at point z is equal to 0. As these are simple poles, so the formula is also very simple. That is, limit z tends to z0. This is z minus z0 into f of z. Into f of z. So, clear. So, this can be written as limit z tends to. See here, this value is nothing but limit z tends to 0 here, this is z minus 0 into f of z. So, what is f of z here? f of z is nothing but 4 minus 3z. See, this is 4 minus 3z by z into. So, this is z into z minus 1 into. This is z minus 2. So, clearly, I, I can cancel the z and keep 0 in the rest rest of the function that is 4 minus 3 into 0 by 0 minus 1 into 0 minus 2. Clearly this is 4 by minus 1 into minus 2. So which is equal to 2. The value here is 2. So we got the residue value. See here the residue value of f of z at point z is equal to 0 value is equal to 2. And the next value the next pole value here is so uh, next pole value 0, residue value have uh, calculated 
and the next pole value is 1. So again we have to calculate the residue value of f of z at point 1. So here residue of f of z. So this is residue of f of z at pole value z is equal to 1 is equal to. As it is a simple pole, so limit z tends to z0. This is z minus z0 into f of z. So here this will be limit. Limit z tends to 1. This is z minus 1 into f of z. So what is our f of z value? f of z value is nothing but this is 4 minus 3z by z into this is z minus 1 into this is z minus 2. Now I can cancel z minus 1 and again I, have, I can substitute z value as 1. So this is 4 into 3 minus 1 by this is 1 into this is 1 minus 2. Clearly 4 minus 3 by so this value is minus 1. So here the residue value here is the residue value of f of z at whole value z is equal to 1 is minus 1. So here we got the residue values of z is equal to 0 as well as z is equal to 1. So after finding the residue value, see here the residue value of 0 I have calculated and residue value of 1 I have calculated. There is no need of calculating the residue value at, uh, at 2 as 2 is outside the given circle. Therefore, According to our uh, residue theorem, so according to our residue theorem, according to residue theorem, the formula here is integral f of z into dz is nothing but 2 pi i into the sum of the residues. The sum of the residues at interior poles. So, what are the interior poles? Interior poles. Here, the interior poles are z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1. So, here our integral value f of z into dz is nothing but this is 2 pi i into sum. So, we have to add up. The residue value at 0. So what is the residue value at 0? This is 2. So this value is 2. The residue value is 2. And the next one here is minus 1. So this will be the answer. The, this 2 pi i into 1. Therefore the value here is 2 pi i. So what is our f of z? f of z is nothing but the question here. That is 4 minus 3 z by. So here this value is nothing but. 4 minus 3z into dz by this is z into z minus 1 into this is z minus 2. So this is how we have to calculate using the residue theorem. See once again let me explain you. First of all we have to evaluate integral. Integral 4 minus 3z by z into z minus 1 into z minus 2 into dz where c is the circle that is mod z is equal to 3 by 2 using residue theorem. So here is the function. So if you equate the denominator to 0 we will be getting the pole values. So after equating the denominator to 0 we got the pole values as z is equal to 0, 1 and 2. So here it, there is a condition that the function lies within the circle C that is mod z is equal to 3 by 2. So this can be written as mod z minus 0 is equal to 3 by 3 by 2. So it is the case that it is a circle with center 0 and radius 1.5. So this is a circle with center 0 and radius 1.5. So here the poles values 0 and 1 lies within the circle and 2 is outside the circle. So outside the circle pole values are not needed and therefore the residue value at z is equal to 0 is calculated as 2 value and the residue of f of z at pole value z is equal to 1 is calculated as minus 1 and therefore according to our residue theorem. So here is the formula. So this is the formula that integral f of z dz is nothing but 2 pi i into sum of the residues at the interior poles. So here pole z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 are interior to mod z is equal to 3 by 2 and therefore the values here that is 2 minus 1 so which is equal to 1 and we should have to multiply with 2 pi i therefore the integral value integral f of z dz value will got as 2 pi i.
so this is the most important question so whatever the videos i'm posting those are all the previous questions which are really asked in the question paper and hope it will be very useful for you and it is also very easy after preparation so you'll you'll get a good score believe me and practice and pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel thank you for staying till the end